Hi, it's Joey, and today we are watching The Umbrella Academy, season one, episode eight. I heard a rumor, which makes me think we're gonna be seeing a bit more of Alice in this episode, or at least maybe more of her story, or she's gonna come into shenanigans with Leonard slash Harold. Stress. Um, I am really excited to see where the rest of this show is going, to see how all of it is building up. Um, the end of season one is gonna be crazy, I can already tell, and I'm very stressed. Um, a reminder, as always, that you can find the unedited version of this reaction off my Patreon, along with all of my reactions, and you can get those two weeks in advance, and you can get the edited version one week in advance as well. Well, and yeah, thank you for watching. I sound like I'm finishing the video. My brain is not working. Switched it back on. Let's go. At the time the Umbrella Academy defeated the oh. Again? Your Uncle Luther? You mean space boy. Oh. See you tomorrow. But I'm not tired. Claire. But I won't Oh, so go. this is when she would Mom, use it. On, she never actually disciplined, like, not disciplined, like, but taught. She didn't teach her child discipline or control. Yep. I'm surprised he didn't see sooner. And I'm with him in a way. I think she needs help and should be in her daughter's life. I'm in no way thinking she should not be in her daughter's life. But I agree with him. I heard a rumor that you love me. Oh, did she say that to her husband? I can see why she would have taken that as a coping mechanism, much like the rest of them have got their own sort of crutches are they back from the hospital to her violin <gasps> fuck why are you dressed i'm getting out of here oh he doesn't want to be in hospital paramedics couldn't save them sweetheart i mean yes they were not good men i mean they, they did not deserve to die by any means but critical condition He's gonna finish him off because he paid them to do it or something. Though it's a bit extreme if he did pay them to do it. Meet me downstairs, okay? He's very hungover for the first time in his life. He killed himself. Mm -hmm. He said it was the only way to get us all home again. Dad wouldn't just kill himself. He, he was a lunatic. Solving it together would reignite your God. desire to be a There are other ways. There's always choice. I mean, you could have told them about the end of the world sooner. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. Just another thing that I can't do right. Stop, don't say that. Don't. It's the beginning of the journey of discovering it. Happen. Maybe we can control it. He wants to control it. And we have time to see them all. If you turn around and save the world, you do. Look, officer, if there is any way... Holy I'm... shit! <laughs> In fact, maybe I could tag along while you hmm. conduct some official police business. I promise hmm. I won't get in the way. I just, I think you Using that star power and not and needing to use her powers. Live a day in the life. Good luck, Diego. So you got a key. I think I see a key. Yeah. It's going to break out. That's not what we want. I mean, it is what we want in the short term, but I want him to get acquitted. Oh. Four. So he couldn't configure out how to teach her, so he just suppressed it so she would never learn. She was one little girl with one huge power, she needed time to master it. Quieter and quieter. <sighs> Except for the truck engine, it, it it's sound. sound. That's what he knows already. The violin, the um, <laughs> glasses. Crazy bastard actually had a pill yeah. a week before. Where have you been? Jail. Long <laughs> Where's Luther? Your insolence is unacceptable. Oh. She rebelled against your abuse, maybe. Ha. Oh, it was on his eye. Lol. She didn't mean to hurt you. Try and do what you did last night in the parking lot. With the car in you. I'm like, if you have to, you can kill him. Totally fine. She is so powerful. Can she control it at all? She is not loving this. You did it. You deserve better than this monster. <laughs> he 
<laughs> Your power's trying to tell you something, sweetheart. I want to find you to know about her power and master. I do not want him. Yeah, have you seen this person? Murdered by a monster. Leave me alone. Aww. Give us a minute. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Allison's in trouble. That should be enough. Yes. Turns out Vanya's boyfriend is a convicted murderer. Who would have saw that one coming? No hard to trust anyone who wears corduroy. <laughs> So, where's Allison now? Just think about Vanya. To go after Harold Jenkins. Alone. You should have led with that. <laughs> Told you. The words Allison trouble. Luther zoom zoom. He couldn't tell us that Vanya was potentially in trouble. <laughs> he just broke the door. She's gonna burn the place down. Oh my god. How many innocent donuts are exploded? Yes! Told you! I mean, they roughed him up very well. You are special, sweetheart. This piece of shit doesn't deserve to be in the same, breathing the same air as you. Don't look at him all soft. He's being a controlling dick. I heard a rumor you walked off a cliff <laughs> into a jail cell. Off he goes to murder the witness. <laughs> it's like some epic romance. Oh no. Don't let her find Agnes first. Unless Agnes is secretly also a killer. Leonard! Sweetie, it's alright. He's just gone out somewhere, that's okay. Where are we? Oh, is she remembering this now? I've made a secret place to determine whether your behaviour can be regulated. This monster. He tortured all of them. Oh. Because all the trauma he lumped on them is really going to help them with their fucking abilities. Seen Mr. Lutz? No, why? I took him to x ray and then he disappeared. He's been murdered! Let security know. Oh. Goodness. What's causing it? Me. Me. You should have had the file with you. His real name is Harold Jenkins. He murdered his father when he was 13. This is insane. I know, my love, but she's telling the truth. I have a police report in the car, Vanya. I can show you. Please believe her. I know it's going to crush you, but believe her. Leonard, I promise I will tell you everything in the car, but it's not safe. No, stop. Aww. Oh my goodness. Why do they bring Alison? Oh, to make her forget? Oh my god! Fuck! This monster! You should have done more. But then he asked me to do something I never understood. Oh, she was a baby. No wonder she torn us all these bloody kids. I heard a rumor. I heard a rumor. You think that you're just ordinary? Oh. My god, and that shaped her entire worldview of her life. Because not ordinary doesn't just mean powers, ordinary means every bloody way. I'm stressed. You never wanted me around. What? No, you couldn't risk me oh. threatening your place in the house. Your, your dominance. That is Sweetheart, there's, oh, there's too much resentment you underneath. You are special. You destroyed my life. Your dad did, my love. Sweetheart, he's a murderer. Are you? Are you okay? I said no! She can't control it, and she's not okay. Oh god. Oh my god, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? We can time travel, right? Can Klaus bring her back? Is that a thing? 
Oh, he's so excited by this, this piece of shit. Oh! So I think the power kind of overwhelmed her a bit, but I'm so like, I'm not gonna cry because Klaus is gonna figure out a way to reverse the... There's Helen. Nope, there's the dude. He's gonna figure out a way to bring people back from the dead, right? Right, right. I don't wanna see this. I wanna see the bit where Klaus brings her back, right? Oh. No, 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 no. It's gonna be reversed. It's going to be reversed. We're gonna bring her back. Because I said so. It's fine. Not okay. I'm not okay. I'm living in denial. My denial land is that the dad mentioned to Klaus that he's never gonna know his true potential. And his true potential is gonna be that he can revive recently dead people. And then he's gonna hate himself because he could have done that for Dave. But regardless of that, maybe he'll even time travel back and save Dave and let Dave have a life. I don't know. But he is gonna, they're gonna save Alison. Or they're gonna grab the time machine and they're gonna find a way to stop something of that from happening. That episode was too much. Like, I. I So starting off, Luther was still on his rock bottom, but wanting to save Alison kicked him into motion. It's kind of sad that it's only Alison that is able to do that, the whole world ending, or Vanya potentially being in trouble, or any of the other siblings, but that's because they're not at a place where they're close. <laughs> I want them to get there, but I really don't see it at this point. Um, then Klaus is continuing to make me proud. He is continuing to strive ahead with he's sober and you know he's still klaus he's still his same silly self in a way but he is also keeping it together i'm really really proud of him for that because not only has he been through trauma with being tortured and the vietnam stuff and then losing dave and now being sober but he's facing the end of the world you know there's stuff is happening where you could just it would be so easy to run and hide but he isn't and it's even a case where he could argue that his power doesn't directly help so yeah i'm just so proud of him for that Diego getting out of prison, being helped to escape. I'm sure that guy, they're gonna notice the security footage of like shaking hands and then Diego being like, just give me a sec while I pop in the sleeve and I'll have a key now. I mean, that guy's gonna get fired. I do hope overall he manages to be exonerated, that they manage to find it was Charter and Hazel because otherwise, I'm gonna be really sad if he's always on the run. Um, never able to form a real life because of that fact. Charter and Hazel, I kind of don't care. Like, I do, I am enjoying their plotline, but like, compared to everything else in the show, if their scenes were given to the the Hargreaves, I would like a lot more. Um, I would love for, I'm torn because I can't, I would like Hazel to be get to be happy with Agnes because Agnes seems like a lovely lady who deserves to be happy, but he's just a remorseless killer. I'm stressed because obviously Charger could find her, what's gonna happen with that? Um, her place is burnt down, is she gonna get insurance money or are they gonna think she did it for the insurance money? Who knows? Um, a lot is happening there. <laughs> it seems as though maybe Hazel wants to try and save the world, which we could use all the help we could get. I don't know how much the others are going to accept his help. I mean, it was Char Char that shot um, it, Detective Pat, so maybe you can convince him of that? I don't know. Or even agreed to turn himself in. I don't know, but I just I feel for Agnes in this situation. Um, da, 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 da. Alison just she truly cares and I'm using present tense about Vanya and all of them and I think they have such potential to have these bonds and what would have been the best way to bring them up would have been to make sure that those bonds between them were rock solid and airtight and that they were able to be truly a bonded team and that they're like just their dad is a monster like the way he raised them was the worst possible way you could raise children and the worst possible way you could raise children to actually be able to control their powers idiot um and on his oh i can't figure out how to control one his powers she gave me a little boo-boo when i was abusing her <laughs> better erase her memory my god and that saying of you think you are ordinary that has it wasn't a specific phrase of you think you don't have superpowers because if she doesn't think she has superpowers she can still think she can be the best violinist and she can still think that she's amazing and wonderful like a good part whereas you think you are ordinary that is such a harsh word to use especially on a four-year-old to a four-year-old ordinary will be useless rubbish no wonder her view on everything is i'm pathetic i'm useless i'm rubbish so i can definitely see why there was rage 
towards Alison in that moment. Now, I think if the situation hadn't happened the way it was, with the time and distance and no Leonard, it would be easier to sort of think, okay, yeah, she was four. Um, that wouldn't have been a strong memory. She wouldn't have thought of that memory all the time. Um, I'd be a bit mad at her for not telling you sooner, but kind of being like, yeah, you don't really know the significance of all of it. Um, but in the moment, I can understand how you would just be kind of crazy and lost in your rage, especially as Leonard has been stoking her resentment towards them. And there was so much already unsaid between them. The lot, they left things with um, Alison saying it's a family matter, which was aimed at Leonard, but it felt like it was aimed at both of them, even though it wasn't meant to be. Um, um, Vanya's powers are immense. I truly do believe she will learn to control them, same as all the others will learn to control theirs. Um, it's once you kind of are more aware of something, you will be able to control it. Maybe she won't, but it seemed as though when the power was taking her over in that moment, especially as it was rage, she was losing herself to it. Alison even noticed, and despite everything that was going on, despite how scared she was, asked, are you okay? Um, which I think shows that there is a chance that Vanya will lose herself to these powers, which stresses me out a lot. And she already has done in the second that definitely it was a fight or flight reflex of she's gonna say some words that are gonna destroy my life again stop i don't think vanya was in her right mind when she did that i don't like the job i will never be like oh, never mind that moment um but i think what happens next with vanya is going to be very telling to see kind of where she's at right now is she going to become a villain on this show is what is going to happen because it was very brutal and i hate the way leonard is manipulating her he's yet someone else that is using emotional abuse tactics he's kind of still holding himself back a little bit from full-blown but i just despise that man Ugh. less than i suppose i despise their father but almost as much um i I'm, I'm not i can't believe that ending happened like i actually don't believe it that vanya actually just cut her throat with a fireplace poker I mean, again, in the moment, I think the powers were taking over Vanya a bit. I don't think she was fully in a rational brain, but it depends if the more her powers come out, is her whole persona and her brain going to change? What is going to happen? Who is Vanya if she doesn't believe she is ordinary? I mean, you can be a wonderful person and be ordinary and be a wonderful person and not be ordinary, but you know what I mean. Um, then them all finding Alison's body. Now... I've decided that Klaus has the ability to bring people back to, from the dead, especially recently dead people. Um, and he's going to do that with Alison. It's just going to happen. Or she's going to be another Ben who's always around as a ghost, but then she's never going to get to make amends with her daughter or Rhea and I, and I will sob my heart out if she's dead. So I refuse to accept that. I am in denial. But the thought of them finding her body, Luther, and all of them just seeing her there, in so many ways... With Luther most, most especially, but with all of them, it's a case of missed chances, missed time, wasted time. Time they could have been together as a family and they weren't. They will not know what happened. They won't, I mean, unless Alison's ghost appears and starts having a good old chat with Klaus and like Ben does. Could, would she be able to see Ben? She would, wouldn't she? That would be nice for him. Someone else to talk to briefly. Briefly, because Klaus is bringing her back. Um, right now, they won't know what's happened with Vanya. They'll probably think it was Howard that did that, but obviously it was... Vanya, which is gonna be shocking, and I'm scared that it's gonna come to like siblings versus Vanya, which has kind of always been her on the outskirts, them as a group. I just want to think of a way that Vanya can be saved and cannot become like evil or completely ostracized on her own. Maybe the season will end with her like that, but ultimately, um, but I'm really hoping that they're able to revive Alison because I think if someone's alive, it's a lot easier to forgive killing them. That only makes sense in TV shows. Like, Vampire Diaries, you know, Damon kills Jeremy. If he'd stayed dead, we could never have forgiven Damon for it, but because he was alive, you were able to move on. Um, I can understand Vanya struggling to accept Leonard. I think she might have done if Alison hadn't had that revelation there and then. But yeah, that was a lot. I am not okay. Um, it is almost midnight, and I was planning on going to bed after this one, so... <laughs> Got to debate whether I'm watching another one right now and having a binge or whether I am going to bed. But yeah, this was a fantastic episode. You can find it unedited up on my Patreon, along with the, ed un ed the edited version one week early, unedited two weeks early. Thank you so much for watching.